Commander, I'd like to address some issues I have with the Rivlon times. Now, I know the press will try to embellish stories to make for more savory reading material, but half this stuff they print nowadays is fabricated nonsense of an almost always sensational or slanderous nature. Now, I want you to reprimand them, Commander. I want it to be known that from now on they must either publish the truth or else publish no longer. Rivalon Times is no more than a daily dose of heresy for those that sinfully partake. Rather than admonish, you should abolish the thing altogether, Commander. I couldn't agree with Prospera more, Commander. The Rivalon Times journalists aren't simple fact-finders. No. They ferret for filth. Ever since I've become a counselor aboard the Raven, I've discovered dwarven newspapermen under my bed on no less than three separate occasions. And one I caught climbing through the bathroom window. The Rivalon Times is a dwarven and therefore commercial enterprise, Commander. Juicy stories sell copies. That is simplicity itself. I categorically deny, by the way, that our editors spread lies. Or at the very least, spread lies on purpose. So, if a chambermaid divulges to us a minister of the Crown likes to spank his mistress in the bedroom, and this later turns out to be untrue. She is at fault, not we, for having printed her tale. I see no imp interest in this matter at all, Commander. I'll just flip a coin then. Head means yes, tail means no. And heads. Yeah, go ahead and reprimand them. Commander, I am a lizard and therefore thick-skinned and cold-blooded. But the things they've written about me. Those words pierce my scales and boil my blood drop for drop. They have no shame, those dwarven reporters, and shame us all time and again. Commander, when you flip a coin, the outcome is holy. It's awful bad luck going against the coin, especially if your very own head is on the one that settled the matter. Very good, Commander. I knew you'd be one to trust the times. After all, when have they ever said a bad word about you? So, the Rivalon Times is given lease to continue printing lies unabated. Once, once I looked back after passing a particularly lovely lizard in the park, and the next thing you know, an entire editorial is devoted to my person, filled with accusations of infidelity, adultery, and a couple of perverted practices I won't repeat here. You'll be laughing from the other side of your face when it happens to you, Commander. The dwarves mock everything and everyone, Commander. They spare not even the gods. It should be put in the pillory, not operate the printing press.
I thank you, Commander. To inform the general public of the events of the Empire is a great responsibility, not a lackadaisical frivolity. The dwarves would do well to take this duty a bit more seriously, and their caricaturist especially could stand to be a bit more sensitive. Well, I guess a reprimand is a first step. Does it include the raiding of the Rivalon Times' offices, perhaps? Shall they be gutted by fire? For that would be most agreeable and please the Seven. Very good, Commander. I can tell you it was all very embarrassing for my wife to pick up the morning paper and find out I'd been tending to another garden on the side. She... She kept on hogging the rose bushes. My favorite. What was I to do? But... But this reprimand will kill business. Who wants to read mere facts? Facts are boring. God blimey, Commander. Reprimand if you must. But don't break the news until I've sold all my shares in the Times. Okay, so we just do like the coin says then. We could flip one every bloody time, you know. Sure would put an end to all this bloody bickering. <laughs>